We started Outdoor Adventures here at Coppell Middle School East because we needed another elective. And so when my principal approached me about maybe doing the class, I was super excited to, to be able to share these experiences and, and teach these kids how to just get, get outside and do some great activities. Uh, in my opinion, the greatest thing about this class is these kids getting to experience a first, uh, whether it be first time catching a fish, first time even being to a lake, first time being in a boat. These kids understanding that there's more to their middle school career than just whatever they can find on their phone or whatever's on the TV. They can get outside and to have those first type of connections that, you know, that many of, many of people in my generation were able to do. We have a very, very diverse population here in our program, and it just it works for all, all cultural backgrounds, all socioeconomic backgrounds. Kids can be kids and just do what they need to do. There's no prerequisites for it. There's no height, weight, strength. There's, there's nothing that they have to come to class with, and it's just great to see people of so many cultures to be able to excel in, in the outdoor adventures. Coppell Middle School East is very unique and different, and we are very, we're probably one of the most diverse schools in this area you will ever find. I have a lot of Middle Eastern students, I have uh, Hispanics and African Americans, and uh, just a great mixture. We're like a melting pot of, the, of this whole Metroplex area. Uh, the beautiful thing about outdoor education is, uh, you know, lots of people thought, well, you'll only get your white kids that are going to want to do this. The beautiful thing about this is our Middle Eastern kids love this. They've never seen anything like this. Their families love it. Uh, it gives us an opportunity when we go, went on our big retreat with our kids and took them to a ranch and just this open outdoors, those kids went crazy. It got them away from books a little while. It got them away from the stress of having to be perfect and allowed them to open up, relax, laugh, play, and have a great time besides just feeling like they had to be perfect in the classroom every day. They got to just be themselves for a little while and it's been a great opportunity for them. Um, for our program, as far as the, the number of kids that we have, um, our, I think our kind of magic number is 70. So the past three years we've had about 70 kids each, each year in the program. And of those kids, we've had about 70% get their Hunter's Ed certification and their Boater's Ed certification. In April, May, we actually get to go on an overnight camp out with the kids our first year. Uh, camping, we, we had a parent who has several acres down on Richland Chambers Reservoir, and so he was you know, super excited. He bought a bulldozer and started knocking over trees to make, a, make this huge tent city for us, and it was great. We got to go down, hang out there, and um, spend some time in the water. Kids got to fish. Uh, they certainly got to swim. We had these little portable little flotation islands, um, and it was just a great time. We, have, we actually have two boats, um, both through donation from you know, parents and things like that. And it's awesome, you know, we get to use those boats on, uh, on our camping trip that we get to do every year. Uh, one of the things that, that I wanted to make sure as far as, you know, the, the registration of the boat is that the kids at any time, they can check out those boats and they can go take them out for a weekend if they wanted to, as well as any of the equipment that we have. So we're really fortunate to have, you know, those things that the kids can use even in their spare time. One of the boys that, that I've kind of taken a liking to this year is a young man who at his previous school didn't quite fit in. He was struggling, you know, being very, very aggressive in his behavior. And, you know, this year, you know, you, you talk as teachers and just hearing from another teacher, he told her that I've found my spot. You know, this is where, this is where I'm supposed to be. And I really think that the Outdoor Adventures program was able to help him do that. Being able to receive this award for uh, Educator of the Year has been, has been humbling. You know, it's, it's certainly an honor. That's kind of what I thought I was gonna do in my, in my career choice. Um, teaching found me, and so to be able to, to meld together two of my passions, both teaching and the outdoors, it's great to be able to just receive an award like this. You know, first off, I want to thank my principal, Ms. Springer. She and I go way back. She was a teacher back when I was in high school, and so she knew that, that I, would, I would bite hard on this program, and so I just want to thank her for, for always being supportive and making it happen here at East. And um, I also want to thank the Outdoors Tomorrow Foundation. It's such a great award to receive. And just it's an amazing program that they can get outdoor adventures activities into so many different schools. Um, and also Dallas Safari Club, just thank them so much for their you know, years and years of support. Just trying to get kids out there to, to be uh, outside. There's a saying that we have is, you know, forget the box, just think outside. And so all three of those organizations have, have made that possible for us. Thank you, Coach Sealy!